Let's do an update. Um, I guess we'll start in the bus. See all the new stuff we got. Um, this is the start of the battery storage bank. It actually sits uh, flush up against there. I just gotta <coughs> get it toned in. You'll see. Um, I got the underneath area done for where the storage tanks are gonna be. Um, they sit on these big metal platforms and I had to reinforce the ceiling so that these sets of all thread were into the C channels. One that's already existing there and then two new ones which will tie in to the existing ones. And then that's um, 14 gauge. It's all dusty right now. But woodworking but that's uh, some 14 gauge sheet steel that they will actually sit on um, so that they won't uh, fall into these dips here this plastic tends to sag over time um, these are the bolts that are what are supporting that big heavy box underneath um, this is where the kitchen table goes so you'll actually only see one of them and it'll still be um, sub floor level once the flooring gets in and the big new update is all of this this is just a start on the um, upper cabinets and area themselves still got some more painting and stuff to do in here I thought that was a cool little shape and it will be right here where the kitchen or where the kitchen table is so you should be able to reach up and grab some of your readily used condiments um, this is not, it, it gets pushed all the way flush back in there. It's just kind of sitting there right now, but I still have to cut the hole for the ceiling that'll mount and go up and through, um, for two of them. One of them has to be done for this guy, which is the refrigerator. Uh, it's just covered up right now. And then I started the ideas and started cutting all of my doors for these. Um, let's see if we can, can we turn this light on? Yes, we can. Um, this is not the door. This is just a mock-up to get an idea. I thought that would look really cool. Um, it's this aluminum sheeting here, it's real paper thin and um, it's backed with kind of a chalky board that I painted with kind of a chalky black. I still haven't decided um, what the back color and the front color is going to be. I haven't decided what any color is going to be. I'm need to make some decisions um, this was really cool it just happened to lay where the uh, edge of the window was so I decided to continue that curve out because um, yeah why not that looks really awesome I was gonna do the same on the other side but just didn't work out I ended up doing that cool little box instead um, that's pretty much it for right now this framing and woodworking has taken a lot of a lot of time and then if we come inside you'll see oh, all of the doors little set out themselves ready for the last couple processes um, 
there this is the one that goes over the uh, um, refrigerator so I made this little jig um, which makes it really easy to assemble these simply slide them in clip them together and you can flip it over and, and nail that side um, yeah, and that makes it relatively easy to just do some pen nailing, um, some little 18 gauge um, bread nails. But first, I still need to do the dado cut along here, which will allow the metal mesh to sit in and then allow this to uh, backing board to sit in. It'll help give it strength. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to router all of the edges um, and roll them over. Um, I was practicing my little insetting with some file or with some chisels. Um, because the little hinges I got, I don't want them to sit out as much as they are from the uh, from the wall. I want them to sit kind of flush against the wall. So uh, I was practicing little cutouts here. Um, it's going to be a little bit bigger than this one right here, a little width-wise. But that'll allow them to be uh, a little f more flush mounted. And then Harbor Freight has these little neodymium magnets. Which I think they're 516th in OD. Um, and they work really good with a 516th drill bit. They're a little oversized. You can drill them in and then hammer them in flush and that will be the retainer for these um, cabinet doors. There will be a magnet on the inside and then a magnet on the door itself. Um, for the uh, water tanks themselves I bent up these nice brackets out of some scrap Home Depot material um, these are shelves that were thrown away and I pulled out of the dumpster still have a large section of them some painted ones and some unpainted ones uh, dumpster diving for the win um, with a little cheap Harbor Freight bender. Um, these things came out really nice. Beautiful, clean lines. Um, and they'll be sitting directly over the water tanks. So as a as just a precautionary method, I made these little pieces of rubber. They're relatively thick rubber. And they will go in the corners here to help just so that the metal strapping's not sitting directly on the uh, plastic water tanks themselves as vibration and stuff goes down the road. So yeah, I think those will work pretty good. Um, there are 69 different colors here, all from the Home Depot's little 50 cent oops thing. I'd been collecting these for the last couple months every time I go in there. So I have a nice smorgasbord of colors to choose from. I will be doing lots of little multicolored patchwork. Um, what else? This new table saw was a Facebook market find and I'm in love with it. I just got the router part set up here and working on making some custom fence inserts. Um, I just made a uh, zero clearance uh, aluminum 
insert for there. Yeah, we're moving along slowly and surely, ready for the next step, some more woodworking. Yeehaw.